All right, so clearly I hadn't been shopping for a while and I had to take full advantage of Savers half off sale. Um, they allow you to go three times with the coupon that they mail you uh, via email. So I did that. I already hauled the first visit to Savers. This time I'm combining two visits. In total, I spent $197 and some change and I got 52 items. My average cost of goods was just $3.80 and you're not going to believe some of the awesome stuff that I found. So if you're up for like a vintage Lori long haul, <laughs> this is the video for you. Stay tuned. All right, so it feels so good to be doing hauls again. This one I'm really excited about because I found some wonderful pieces at a great price. I went over the course of two days. I ended up going back because in my last video, which I will link in my description below, in the last video that I did that was my haul, I passed on a bunch of stuff that were keeping me up at night. So I ended up going back a third time to Savers. I didn't find the things that I went back for, but of course I found some great stuff. So I hope you'll enjoy this video if you're new here. Hello and welcome, my name is Lori. I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and on eBay. If you're having a good time at any point in this video, please hit the like button, it helps me so much. And also consider subscribing. If you like a good haul, I chronicle my entire journey as a reseller. Um, I was home for almost 20 years with my kids and when I was 45, I decided to jump into reselling. I went full-time in August of 2019, started my YouTube channel in January of 2019, and here I am. Everything, which is never the case, that I am showing you today will be listed in my Poshmark closet, and about 50% of that stuff will be cross-posted to eBay, with the exception of the things that I'm keeping. So this sweater I got, the sweater's from Express. I also got a pair of cropped Ella Moss jeans that I'm wearing today that won't be listed. Then I bought my son Rocco a pair of black Under Armour pants that aren't very exciting, but those won't be listed either. So these are things that were just recently photographed, so they are still on hangers. I haven't inventoried them yet. So I'm going to start with these. This is just a really cute uh, chase sweatshirt it just says California on the back they're kind of naturally distressed they almost have that like manufactured pilly vibe to them so I paid two dollars for this I think I have it listed around the $30 mark it is a size medium a lot of these things were marked $3.99 this is another piece this is just like a ballerina pink athleta very very soft pullover so this is the athleta mindset ballerina pink sweatshirt this was also two dollars really cute it kind of has the scooped side hem um, i love when i've listed things because then i can give you actual style names and stuff for things that i know this is adorable this is just a cropped boston crew neck um, it has like this little drawstring tie here. I might show this to Angie. I think she likes to sport a lot of like her Boston gear over in, in Pennsylvania where she goes to school, but this is adorable. I'll probably list this for $28 um, if Angie doesn't take it. So that was $2 too. Oh my God, it was awesome. This is a North Face um, mid-length sweatshirt. Kind of has this like um, asymmetrical zip. Really nice, it's a fitted style. This was marked $4.49. That was their regular tag on this. It's not your typical Denali that they tend to mark up, but I only paid $2.25 for this, and it looks like a newer tag as well. It's really nice. I'm not sure. This will probably be listed around $40, $45. I'm not sure, though. This was something I took a chance on. Uh, there aren't too many times where I just bypass comps and brands and stuff but in this case i really liked this jumpsuit it's just this cotton striped jumpsuit i really loved the embroidery here it almost looks like um needlepoint just some really cute flowers embroidered so the comps on this weren't great but they weren't terrible taylor and sage and you can see i've left the price tag on here they had this priced at ten dollars so i paid five i just thought that that was a really cute spring pre piece i'm looking for some transitional items so that kind of fit the bill on that i'll list that around 35 dollars and see what happens these are just under armor pants that were really nice i got rocco some really nice lightweight nylon ones in black 
These are a 3430. They're navy blue. They're almost like chino style. I'm sorry, I keep looking over there. Oh, and I'm wearing glasses today. I'm so off. Um, I'm wearing my glasses because I got this irritation in my eye that I get every once in a while, and then I'm paranoid. I threw out my old mascara. Um, I like woke up like bloodshot. If I fall asleep with my makeup on, I have like super sensitive eyes. So anyways, not that you needed all that information. You're like, shut up, Lori, show me the Under Armour pants. These are 3430s. These Under Armours were, I don't know, I think these are like three or four dollars. Those are nice. I'll probably list them around thirty dollars. Definitely more in the market for brands like Nike and Under Armour now that I'm selling more on eBay because those things are doing pretty well over there. This is a beautiful vintage Notori set. Um, it is a nightgown. I love picking up vintage lingerie and certain pajama sets like this. This robe is beautiful. This is such a vibe to me. I think I'm going to aim high. It's not perfect. There are like a couple slight pulls on this. This was also priced at $9.99, so I paid $5 for that. This was a surprise that I almost passed on. Okay, so little quick story time. And I don't have them all in order, but this new rack came out and I think I grabbed 10 pieces. I'm assuming it's all from the same woman. It was a ton of free people, anthrop a lot of anthropology brands, but ones that I haven't seen before. Some, like this is Maeve, so I, I know Maeve, but like Featherbone was one of the brands. I'm going to show you. I'll point out everything that came off the rack from this woman, but oh my goodness, some of the stuff was just amazing. Then um, this I almost hesitated on because I don't like white, and then when I turned down the collar, there was a little bit of a makeup, like um, foundation on the collar, but I looked some more, and it was new with tags. So it was just $4 but it has this metallic um, trim, this cool metallic trim on the hem as well. And it's like a boxy fit, really super soft. So I went to their website, it's on the current website. This is what I loved about all these pieces that I grabbed off the rack. They were all relatively new. Like you could tell because when it says by anthropology, those are some of the newer pieces. So she had all newer stuff and some stuff new with tag. For $4, I took it home on a whim, didn't run comps on it, but was really surprised to see that it was on their current website. I wasn't sure how I was gonna do with that makeup, but it came out no problem. So I think I have that priced at $50. It received received a couple of likes right off the bat, um, but it hasn't sold yet. All right, this is a Nike dry fit sweatshirt. Uh, it has mesh over here on the sides. I think I got this that second visit. I love this like coral salmon color right here. This is just a really cute full zip and it is a size medium. I probably have this priced around $38. This was $3.75. Some of the hoodies that I got or the active wear that I bought on that second day, I'm not expecting a huge return on, but they tend to be faster flips for me if I price them under $40. Um, I feel like they sell like between $28 and $32 pretty consistently, and then every once in a while you get a full price sale and it's a great surprise. This was on the rack. Um, with all that woman's stuff. She was a smaller size, so a lot of extra smalls and smalls. That Maeve was a medium. Bella Doll. Okay, so this is a brand um, that I've heard of before. I've never picked it up before. Don't know if it's Revolve. Pretty sure that it's sold at Anthropology. This is Silk. The retail on this was $123. It's a peplum style. Uh, the great thing about this too was that I found a lot of stock photos because the stuff was recent and more important than the stock photos because I don't use them on eBay. As I mentioned in a previous video, I did get a Vero for using a North Face stock photo. So, But I do use them occasionally well, not occasionally, I use them on Poshmark. And I have gotten zinged on Poshmark on a couple brands, but the ones not typically with anthropology. So anyway, but more important than the stock photo is the style numbers and the descriptions. I can just copy and paste all the fabric content and stuff, and it makes for a really quick listing, which I love. This I got on the second day. This was one of the things that I was going back for in a different color. That one was sold, but I found this and I like it even more. So my friend Hope from Racks to Riches Resale, who I mention all the time on here, had commented on my last haul. Like, I can't believe you passed on that sweater or blazer from J. Crew. they're a bolo, they sell for about $40, $50. And I was like, ah, oh, because they marked their J. Crew so high. So I think it was marked at $16.99. So it was navy blue, I went back, it was gone. But I found this when I went back, which I like even more because it's black and I wear more black. 
Um, so it's a J. Crew. It's a size small. This is the J. Crew Juliet sweater, collarless sweater. Retails for $149. Unfortunately for me, somebody had a new with tag small listed in Poshmark on Poshmark for like 40 or $50 and I was wanting to price this much higher. I ended up listing it at $80. This was priced at $14.50. I paid $7.25 for this with the half off sale. They do really price things up, but that should still be a great return. I listed at $80. If I make anywhere between $50 and $60, I will be thrilled for that. This is a Zara piece that I got. These were side by side. They were like $13.99, so I paid $7 for this, $7 for the other one that I'm going to talk about. I thought this was great. This still had like a little loop. This looks like it's never been worn. You could wear it as like a lightweight open trench coat. I love, love the style of this. It's super oversized. This is an extra small and it fits me and I'm about as far away from an extra small as you can get. It is adorable and it has this faux leather accents. I have this priced around 60 or $70, I think. When I searched this one, it came up as like a blogger favorite. When I see that marked on a piece, I will sometimes take those keywords and use them. Um, so this next piece that I'm going to show you, also from Zara, it's already sold. I shipped it out this morning, but I, I will post a picture up here. And I did share this on my Instagram. If you're not following me over on Instagram, I'm just Lori's Boston Found over there. That's my handle. But I share to my stories pretty much daily over there. I almost passed on this jacket. It was this beautiful mandarin collar embroidered velvet kimono, just gorgeous. When I tell you how much lint was on this at Savers, it was so much so that I almost passed on this piece. And I didn't run the comps on it, I just knew it was unique. Kimonos do very well for me. I knew I was getting it, or I knew, I knew it had potential, but I almost didn't buy it. Um, well, I ended up getting it and saying, what the hell, like don't be silly, go home and do the work. And when I started researching it, this was another one that was listed as a blogger favorite. Most people had this priced at either 110, 120, some might've been a little bit lower, but generally this was going for a lot of money. I decided to list it at $85. Immediately, someone asked me a question about it. I answered her question. She offered me $65. I was going to take that $65 because I love selling stuff from a new haul and like recuperating my money right away. And I had only paid seven, but I wanted to sit on it for a little bit because I literally just listed it. So like 20 minutes went back. I didn't reply to the offer. She canceled the $65 offer. And I was like, ah, I might've missed an opportunity. And then like five seconds later, she bought it full price. So that was a really fast sale sold within an hour. Definitely a little more elbow grease. Don't be afraid to pick up those things that might require a little bit more work for you. Even like the Maeve sweater, I almost passed on that because it had the makeup on the inside. Sometimes it's worth it to pick up something that's gonna be a little bit more work. Sometimes it's best to leave it behind. But that was a really great flip. So $85 right off the bat. My second of the third trips was $159 for 40 pieces. So that $80, $85 um, you know, was a good portion of that first trip or that second trip. I'm sorry, they're blending now because I've been so many damn times. I said everything was going to be listed, but I lied. This has a ton of lint on it, but you'll also notice, uh oh, mailman's here, dog's gonna bark. It is J. Crew Cursive Writing, and this is just a stunning jacket. Priced at $14.99, so this was $7.50. The problem with this, when I went to clean it and list it, I noticed that um, the zipper, it's just unstitched. It literally just needs some stitching. So what I'm thinking about doing for this, because the comps on this jacket were in like the 60 to $80 range consistently. Um, so I'm thinking about just bringing this to the cleaners, having it cleaned, because there's so much lint on it, and having the zipper done. That's probably gonna cost about 15, maybe $20. I don't know how much money. So then I'm at 27. Then if I sell it for 60, I'm doubling my money. I can't tell if I just wanna do that and just take the hit on my profit. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet, but this is beautiful. I don't think I'm returning it um, and it's gorgeous. And I, I always say worst case scenario, I can give it to Angie. It's a nice professional coat. I don't know, maybe she'll use it sometime. I probably would have left it behind if it was an older style, but it's a beautiful piece and a popular style. Why don't we break here? I'm gonna show you some footage from shopping. I went with my girlfriend, Kim, who is also on Poshmark. I have a funny story to to tell you about my trip with her during the voiceover. First, I went to Framingham, 
then I went to the location that's closest to me and then I went back to Framingham. Framingham tends to have higher end pieces. I think it's in an area closer to Boston. There's a lot of affluent towns around this store and it's also where we have a big mall. So there's a lot going on. This is a little bit of a hub outside of Boston, the Natick Framingham area. So I tend to find high end brands there. That was my first and third trip. The one in between with my girlfriend Kim is the one that I always go to, but I did amazing there. That's the place that I spent the 159. Here's some footage you'll enjoy. All right, I'm here with my good friend friend Kimmy and she's also my hairdresser and she got rid of all my grays the other day <laughs> she's the best and she's on Poshmark what's your Poshmark yeah. closet Kimberly 40 Kimberly 40 yeah. you should check her out give her a follow she's on Instagram as well so we are gonna go into savers today um, I just filmed a video and we're heading in to do some shopping yes, I'm so yes. Excited. So we're excited are you gonna take you with this Kimmy got this awesome coat at savers what'd you pay 25 that was before the half off sale today that we're hitting. All right. Super cute. Oh, I love, love, love. Oh, it's so nice today. It's beautiful, gorgeous. We're back. All right, we only have a couple minutes of footage here, but I just wanted to share it with you. I head right over to the jeans section. Um, I don't love searching through jeans and I've been on the hunt. I thought this patch was really interesting because I feel like about a year ago, this would have been like a dream to me to come across AG and J brand and Vince and Frame uh, and Free People. I ended up grabbing the Free People jeans you're gonna see uh, a couple days ago, black high rise skinnies. So I left these behind. Um, but I do grab those frame jeans that are popping out. This is also a section where everything's like a size 25 and I just have an abundance of these brands and in this size. But I thought it was interesting um, because that would have been heaven a couple years ago. Oh my gosh, things escalated quickly over here. How you doing? Oh, I love it. We were dance moms for 14 years, so. Love it. What's your favorite? All right, this is the thing that Kim got that I'm the most jealous of. Yeah, that's a good find. New with tag camper boots. New with tag. Check these out. She's going to make some sweet cash. Little paw. That is so pretty. And I got and this one here. Really Abercrombie. Cute. Love it. I got this little thing, like, kind of like a. That's cute. But Two like bucks, the man. Color. You know? Mm hmm Got some cool stuff. You really did. We've been going hard. Hey, did you see these flares I got? Oh, I love these. These look new. Brand new with tags. Wow. Yeah. Look at the bottom. Gap's making a comeback too. The fringe. Look at cute. Wide legs, I love it. I love yep. the bottom. Plus they're a good size. Yeah, size and I guess 12. they have that. Those are really stretch. nice. Oh, we gotta go through everything been a good day. They just keep bringing stuff out more and more and more. All right, coming up is a picture that I'm gonna share with you. I wish I had recorded when I found it because I was just so excited. This is just proof that you can manifest things sometimes. Um, all right, here is a snapshot somebody took of Kim and I. Our favorite employee took this. I found the freaking coat. I found the exact coat that I was complimenting Kim on as we were walking in and I scooped it right up. I'm so sad though it wasn't my size, but how awesome is that? How crazy that I was walking into Savers with my girlfriend. She had just said how she had gone to the Framingham store, paid $25 for this coat, how much she loved it. I thought it was adorable. And we go in and I, I should have filmed it while I was in the store, but I, I did have that picture to show you. Unfortunately, this coat is a small, so it's not gonna fit me, but it is so awesome. It has all the bells and whistles. It has this cute zipper on the side. So this was $13.99. Interesting that they had it priced $10. Um, less at my local savers. I do notice that the prices in Framingham can be high, but so many of the sweaters and sweatshirts were priced $3.99 before the sale, so I really can't complain. But the brand on this is Orale. This, I think, was sold on Amazon because when I did comps on it, it was like the Amazon It Coat. It has an orange lining that is so cool. I love the army green. Um, it reminds me of... Um, Aviator Nation with the zippers like this. I have this listed for 60 or $65. I paid seven. I put it through the wash and it is great. It came out so nice. Sometimes you can really manifest things when you shop. I don't mean to be all hippy dippy, but I swear to God, sometimes I go into stores and I have something 
on my brain that I'm thinking of and we were walking into that store and I loved that coat on my friend. I couldn't believe I found it. This is a piece I just grabbed from my laundry because I am treating this. This is an Eileen Fisher linen blend sweater. It did have a little stain. They had this priced at $6.49 at the register. They took a dollar off. So it was $5.49, half off, $2.75. I have been on a tear with Eileen Fisher. I don't know what is going on. So just within the past 24 hours, Hours, I've sold two pieces from Eileen Fisher on Poshmark and then I have five other pieces that have sold on eBay since the very beginning of February. It is crazy. I pass on a lot of Eileen Fisher but I do pick it up when it's a nice piece and I just can't believe the run it has had. It's not typical at all. So I definitely was grabbing this. I got the stains out. I think this is adorable for the spring linen blend. Oh and I thought how cute is this little cap. Sorry my SD card just filled up so I had to switch cards. I got this cute little hat. I love this. It looks a little odd on me but I got it because it's wool and I thought it was really cute for St. Patrick's Day. Um, the brand, it looks like it's probably vintage, but the brand is just called Alternative. This cute wool blend, adjustable back. I just thought it was really cute for St. Patrick's Day. It was like $1.25. I think I have it listed at $20 or $22. Also love to list those lightweight items over on eBay. This was a random pickup. Um, I got this, the brand is called Breezy, which I don't think is anything fancy, but this was a 3X. And I just thought it was really beautiful. And I don't really find a lot of plus size lingerie or bras that are pretty. And I thought this was gorgeous. Um, it has like a little taupey lace liner. It's like brand new, cost a dollar or a dollar 25. Um, and then when I ran comps on it, the comps weren't fantastic. Whenever I do find something that's plus size that I think is lovely, I'll grab it. So I thought that was pretty, like 18, $20. I have that, have that list. This is actually a size large, but I thought it measured a little bit small. Uh, Champion isn't like a huge return. What I like to pick up the most from Champion is that reverse weave weight. It's beautiful. That's what I used to wear in high school. If you can find a vintage Champion sweatshirt with like a college on it, um, those are the ones that I really migrate to. There's a ton of Champion out there. They don't all sell for the same price. So just make sure you run your comps when you're looking at Champion pieces or at least look at your buy-in cost. So for $3.75, if I sell that between $20 and $25 and it's a relatively quick flip, I'm happy with that. This I thought was such a great score and I couldn't believe the price and comps on this. This is just a lace um, cotton ribbon that goes through like this crocheted cotton lace with a full zip back, but it is by Alice and Olivia. I have this listed at $90. Somebody has this same piece listed for $170. This is in excellent condition. Theirs might be new with tag. And there's also a version of this that has like stripes and navy blue, but I really prefer this. I was the only other listing besides that woman priced at 170. So I did price this for 90. I think um, it was $6.49. So I only paid $3.25. Beautiful piece. This I grabbed in Framingham. It's Lululemon. This is a cycling shirt. So upset though because I pulled the tag. I didn't cut the tag and it made like this tiny little pinhole right here that I had to note in the listing and I'm just mad at myself. This was priced at $4.49. So that's the real store price. So I know there's a lot of talk about prices being skyrocketed high and certain things are, but the real price on this was just $4.49. So I paid $2.25 for this. How cute is this little cycling shirt? It has a zipper in the front. These are framed denim and I just posted on my story about an hour before I started this video. I had a pair of frame army green new with tag shorts that I bought in Manhattan. 422 days ago, sell for full price for $75. These were marked $8.99, they were $4.50. They're the Lace Skinny Dejean Crop. Um, so I have them listed at $40 or $50 and they'll probably end up selling around $30 or $35, but I'll list them there for a little bit. That's also a brand that The Real Real takes for those of you who are interested. If your cost of goods is low enough, like I could send those out and maybe, you know, double or triple my money at The Real Real. This I was excited to pick up. Um, this is dead stock, a new with tag vintage bag. I just thought this was gorgeous and it's this mesh material. Let me bring it in. 
Check out that clasp, how gorgeous this is. So I grabbed it, it was marked $4.99, so it was just $2.50. This kind of pops up like this. Um, but when I looked inside, the lining was really interesting. It was beautiful. I noticed that uh, it was tagged, made in the USA, and it had a brand. So it's Whiting and Davis Company. Um, and it, it's also marked here. It was, it was pretty heavily branded. And the best part was when I pulled out the chain, I noticed that it was new with tag. I've talked about this before, whether to write vintage as my brand or write the actual brand. This was a scenario where I actually put in the brand because this seems to be a brand, a vintage brand that does very well. Um, it's estimated that this bag is from the 40s or the 50s, which blows my mind that it, how it ends up in a store like this, made in the USA, Whiting in Davis. There was one that sold just like this for $69 on eBay. So that's kind of where I got a lot of my information from and I went from there, but isn't this gorgeous? I love that it's kind of like, um, it's just like loose at the bottom because the mesh comes down. I just think this is a stunning bag. I did not run the comps in the store. I saw that it was made in the USA. I saw that it still had the tags, that it was fully lined in beautiful condition. I do think that there is one stone that's missing. I don't think there is. Um, at first I thought it was discolored, but there is one stone that's missing. I did note that in my listing. Other than that, it's flawless. So I'm coming up to a few of the pieces that were from that woman on the rack. Just gorgeous pieces. I don't know that she had ever worn these. Look at this bodysuit from Free People. Um, I'm very weirded out by buying bodysuits, um, but this looks like it has never, ever been worn, ever. Um, you know you can always tell on Free People that the tag is just flawless. There's no tarnishing on the little metal piece, and I, I don't know that she ever wore this. And it actually blouses over. It's a little bit pleated down here, and it has this gorgeous detail in the back. Oh, this is so beautiful. In my next life, when I'm an extra small, I'm gonna wear that <laughs> with these jeans. All right, this same rack, they had this priced at $9.49. I actually thought this was gonna sell before I was able to do this video because it's received so much attention. It has um, some smocking in the back, and then the front is pleated, almost like, looks like corset style. And it's this gorgeous color, um, open neck, V-neck, uh, very feminine. Like this, these two pieces I'm sure are relatively new pieces from Free People and they are just gorgeous. I have this priced at $50. And um, somebody messaged me on Mercari and said, how low can you go with this? I can offer you $38 and it's very lightweight. So I don't think it would be heavy to ship because I offer free shipping on Mercari. So I said, I messaged her back and I said, I would be happy to accept $38. And then she never offered it to me. So I sent offers out on Mercari for $40 and nothing yet, but that is a gorgeous piece all from that same woman. So I paid like $4 and change for that. This I got with my friend Kim, um, it's Wild Fox. And this had some pretty promising comps, like Wild Fox is all over the place. Uh, but this is called like a pizza party hoodie. Swim all day, dance all night, fall in love, pizza. Uh, and it's very oversized, slouchy. This is a size medium. I think I have this listed at like $70, like something high because the comps were crazy on this. And this price is $75. So I don't know if I'm gonna get $75, but I'm gonna try. Um, I will probably end up selling it probably between like 45 and 50, but I'm gonna hold out on that, not hold out, I mean, I would accept offers on that, but I'm gonna stick with that price for a little bit because I definitely wasn't at the highest end of the of the range there. It's lunchtime and the boys are chatting. Speaking of the boys chatting tomorrow, my son Rocco is going back to school for the very first time since March 12th. I can't even believe it. I'm feeling a little emotional about it and I feel sad that he's missed an entire year of in-person school. He's only going hybrid. It's like Thursdays and Fridays, half the school goes for half a day. So he's literally only going to be in school for six hours. Monday and Tuesday, the other half go, and then Wednesday, the school is fully remote. So it's really not much, but he got his license, so he gets to drive to school, and I'm like, oh, he's my baby, and this is one of two last first days of school for him. All right, now I'm gonna cry. Seriously, I can be such a sap sometimes. I don't know when these emotions come over me. All right, now I have to clean the glasses. Moving on. I got this Prairie Underground coat, jacket. This is kind of their classic look. It's kind of this cool brand that's high-end. I'm gonna show you the tag in case you've never seen it before. 
They're a small label. I've sold I've sold, sold some of their pants before. They have a really unique style. I have this listed for $100. So this was a really big win. I think they had this priced at $9.99, so I paid just five. It's a nice charcoal color. It's a small, beautiful, beautiful condition. I was really happy to find that. This was on the rack with the woman's stuff. This is a joie dress that I love. I'm pretty fussy about this brand. And the comps on this were all over the place, but I just loved this piece. It's super gauzy. It's striped. I'm gonna come in. And it has like little metallic in it. So they did have this priced at $11 and change. I paid about $5.50 for it. Um, it has like little tassels here on the side. Really, really cute. It looks so cute on. It's an extra small. I loved it. If this was in a larger size, this is very much my style. And I think it is so cute. I have about six items that were all in the rack that came out from that woman. I'm going to show you all of them. Okay, with this, this was not. This is made well. This was just in the camisole section. I picked this up, it was priced at $6.49, which I wouldn't pay, but it was half off and it was new with tag. So the price tag on it is $69.50 for a tank top at Madewell. So really cute. I just, again, am thinking in terms of the upcoming season. All right, these next five items are from the rack with that woman. This is a space dyed by anthropology that's how i knew it was like a newer thing it's just this really cute sweater um i loved this i think i have this priced in like the 30 something range so it's a little bit cropped it has a v in the back and it's just this beautiful combination of like cinnamons and like tans and green. Isn't that so pretty? I felt that all of these pieces were great transitional pieces heading into spring, which is why I was so happy to find all of them. This is just gorgeous. Um, this brand is Champagne and Strawberry. I've never found this brand before, but look at this piece. It is just gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the detail on this in the sleeves. And I love these pieces that are relatively casual. You can throw them on with a pair of jeans, but they would be great like on Easter or out for brunch, like just so pretty. And I, I think so much of these pieces just gave me hope that we're gonna be outside again soon and we're going to be socializing again. And I just couldn't get enough of all of these just like light airy pieces. Cause I tend to find a ton of heavy sweaters around New England. So I was ready for a change. I don't think this is going to do great, but I thought it was really cute. And I was just like, I was like a crazy person when that rack came over. This is um, do and be which I think is sold on Revolve. This is kind of, in my opinion, an overrated brand, but I liked this piece. The comps weren't fantastic, um, but I'm hoping to get somewhere between 20 and $25 for this. These are Free People, and they are that same gauzy fabric, like the Joie piece. These are an extra small, but look at the, um, look at these wide, they almost look like a midi skirt when they're on, just this huge flare. I don't know if I can do these justice, but look at this. I, I will try to put a stock photo up for you. The bohemian vibe is so great on these. Loved these pants, loved them. I could not grab those fast enough. I still love free people. Obviously, I don't pick it all up. If you watch my last video that I keep referencing, I passed on like, two or three free people sweaters in a row. They were either just not a style I liked or they were too pilly or just, I do pass on a lot of free people, but these few free people pieces that I got, I just am in love with. I priced those pants at $65. The retail on them was 128. So we'll see how they do. This I grabbed, um, it just says Chill Tiger. This is another chaser piece. This stuff looks as if it's never been worn or washed. You can just tell by the fabric, this has never been in the washer. Um, it's super cute. This is not a big item as far as a return will go, but I do like the brand Chaser. If I can get it for the right price and it's a cute pattern, I'll grab it. So I'm sure that was two or $3. I'll probably only sell it around that $20 mark. We'll see how it does. These are the last two pieces from this woman, but can you believe how much I got off this one wrap? I picked up this really cute sweater. I loved this. Love this color and look at these sleeves. This is another by Anthropology. I could not find a size tag on this. I'm pretty sure I listed this as medium. Plus it's an open sweater so I feel like there's a lot of flexibility with this. It's not the softest fabric but it's really cute and again a great transition piece. 
This brand I had never seen before. It is sold at Anthropology. I love this military style. The brand is Marrakech, M-A-R-R, I believe A-K-E-C-H. This is a really beautiful military style jacket. I have a price at $60. So I did run comps on all these. I looked at, I didn't run comps in the store, but I ran comps before I priced them all. This is that feather bone I was talking about. This is just so beautiful. It has some eyelet and some lace. Look at the detail on this piece. It's so gorgeous. Buttons in the front. There are a lot of sheer components to it, so if you layer this, you can really see the details. This they had priced at $7.49, so I did pay $3.75 for this. So you can see where some of those prices are a little bit risky if you're looking at their normal prices at Savers. While I do flip blouses pretty regularly, um, they don't always sell for a lot, so I don't like spending $7 on a blouse, but definitely $3.75. Okay, Lucky's barking. I'll be back. You are so naughty sometimes. Why are you barking so much? You got sauce on your face. Did you get into the chili? Are you going to be a good boy? Can I trust you to relax a little bit and stop barking? These are the days I feel like I need an office. There aren't many days that I wish I was out of the house, but some days. Some days I do. All right. Come on. Next up. I got this Victoria Secret tie-dye hoodie. Um, it says V Secret down the side. It's got like the angel wings on the hood. I have one other Victoria's Secret piece in this stack and I'm buying Victoria's Secret in pink specifically for Mercari. I cannot believe the attention that those brands get over on Mercari. And this was like brand new. They had this price at $7.99. I paid $4 for it. So while we're on the subject of Victoria's Secret, I also picked up these. These are gorgeous. This army green, like heathered legging in brand new condition. They are so nice. They say Victoria's Secret in gold on the back. Again, not something that I would probably pick up. I definitely wouldn't pick those up for a normal seven or eight dollars. These I picked up, they are J. Crew Weekend and they are camo. They were J. Crew with the cursive writing, so newer style, camo. I think camo still does pretty well. They are an extra small, but they were only priced at $2, so I had to grab them. They still have like the little stitching on the back. These also appear to be brand new. I got these Madewell jeans. I think these are an older pair, although they look like brand new. I called these a skinny jean. They are size 27. Most times it will say on the inside, oh, these may have, but this is ripped off. I priced these at $50. You never know with Madewell. Sometimes they can go for a lot of money and other times their stuff will sit. These were in really good condition. They do have like the whiskering around the hip area. So these are only an eight inch rise. Um, otherwise I might've priced them a little bit higher, but we'll see how they do. They're not a high rise, but they are in excellent condition. Those were also priced at $8.99. Would not have paid nine, but yes, I paid $4.50. Okay, these Lululemon leggings, I have to give a shout out to my friend Jackie. Jackie is a viewer who I have run into thrifting three times in three majorly different places. We met for the first time in Providence right when the stores first opened. Massachusetts wasn't open yet, so I drove down to the Savers and she approached me and said she watched my channel and she was the sweetest. And we kept chatting, we kept walking past each other and comparing what we had found. A couple weeks later, I was shopping at the Goodwill in Worcester. All right, we're talking like over an hour apart. And she came up to me again, and I have no, I think she works in Worcester. So she said hello in Worcester. And I was like, well, this is kind of crazy. I'm sorry, the dog's barking. I just have to keep going. Now I'm in Framingham and she comes up to me. Now she's got the mask on and you know, I'm kind of in my zone. And I was like, oh my gosh. And she reintroduced herself as Jackie. I'm like, didn't I meet you before in Worcester and in Providence? So we were like friends that day and she kept bringing stuff over to me. Um, and I don't know why, but she gave me the nicest stuff that J. Crew black new with tag cardigan she brought to me. She brought me some Eileen Fisher stuff um, and she brought me these Lululemon pants. Jackie, thank you so much. I ended up buying her a little bit of a present. She, she found these really cute um, 
Zara pants that were pink and high-waisted, new with tag, and they were adorable. So I had to get those for her because she was feeding me these amazing things. She's part-time. But anyways, hi, Jackie. And I also met the real posh wife whose Instagram is amazing. You have to look at her Instagram. She sells on Depop. I don't know if she's on Etsy too, but she's got the most incredible vintage vibe and her style is to die for. And she models all of her stuff and she's gorgeous. And I met her too. So hello. So yeah, it was a hop in place on, in Framingham. All the resellers were out. These leggings are in great shape. I think they're called the Speed the speed tight and there they have all ruching right here looked everywhere everywhere for a size tag could not find a size tag they're a little bit of an older style but they really hold their value and i was surprised i thought these were going to be like a maybe a 30 dollar pair um, but i have these listed at 60 or 65. Um, there's definitely some demand for these and i think i only saw one other that had the pink stripe i listed them as a medium because they look like they're probably like a size six or eight um, and of course I gave the measurements, they have the pockets. Jackie, thank you so much for the things you handed me. But these have to get listed ASAP. They look to be vintage. They are the North Face and they are ski pants. I was on the fence about these. They were marked $14.99, I got half off, so they were $7, so I decided to go for it. But I think I'm gonna price these to sell. I was really interested in these because they looked vintage and they had all these fun little accents. It actually says made in and then Hong Kong is written out. I don't know if that means they're fake. I don't think so. I think these are an old pair, but they're really cool. Um, and if anybody's curious about the size, they are a size eight. Um, I'm guessing I'll price these somewhere between 50 and 100. I'm not exactly sure what, but I thought those are pretty interesting. All right, I'm down to three more items. I grabbed these shoes. You'll notice I didn't get a lot of shoes. I am revamping my inventory, as you may have heard, and I have so many shoes. I'm kind of trying to just chill out on shoes, but right when I was checking out, um, I saw these, and I have so many ankle boots too. These are Cole Haan. They're actually an older label Cole Haan, but they were $7.99. I paid $4 for them. I thought these were interesting, so I grabbed these. I don't know if that was the best decision, but hopefully get like between 30 and 40 for those. Um, this is another brand that's high-end that doesn't do great for me, and I think this might be a little bit of an older piece. I like Fringe, and Fringe is in. This is like a linen cotton blend. I'm gonna come in and show you the details. Isn't that nice? I thought it was really cute. Just like an open cropped little blazer has shoulder pads. I think it's a size zero. Oh, I thought that was adorable. Um, this was another one that had some super expensive listing prices, but then you look at the solds and they just don't line up. Like I'm talking like $100 listing price and solds for 30. So I try to go somewhere in between price them so that I'm still, I usually price my things more on the expensive side, but I'm, I'm realistic. When you look at those sold comps, it's pretty important to look at solds and not just what things are listed for. This is an Athleta sweater and it's 100% merino wool. It is called the Dakota window pane merino wool sweater from Athleta. You can tell it's got this little bit of an older tag on it, but it's merino wool, um, which had appealed to me and I thought it was a fun design. So I grabbed this and guess what? It was marked $3.99, so this cost $2. My Lord, it's got like a cool little scoop hem at the bottom. I believe this is a size medium and I think I have this priced around $45. Before I sign off, I also sold one other thing I forgot to mention, and that was this North Face gray hoodie. It sold on Mercari for $31 within a day. I had just sent offers out on Poshmark, and then somebody offered me $31 over on Mercari. I listed it for $38. So I sold the Zara piece for $85, the North Face for $31. So that's two items that resulted in $116 in sales. Now, obviously, that's before my cost of goods and the fees that these platforms take off, but I only spent $197 on everything you saw here today. So I'm feeling very confident about my return on this haul. Let me know how your sourcing's been lately and if you are catching spring fever like I am. We made it to the end. 
I took so many cuts. I had to stop this so many times. I have no idea how long this video is going to be. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. I release a couple a week. Next up is probably going to be my inventory video. Although I do have a friend who dropped off a bunch of stuff, like free. She brought it to my doorstep. She's done it one other time. And I was wondering if you would have any interest in seeing a quick, that'd be a quick haul. And just kind of seeing my process, like when people give me inventory, what I decide to keep, what I decide to donate or consign. Let me know if that would be of interest to you. Remember, if you want to see the first part of my savers shopping binge, I did do a video already on it. I'll also link it in the description. Thank you guys so, so much. You're the best. I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.